Hi, I'm Debbie, and thank you so much for spending some time with me. Looking at God's attribute of being omniscient often brings me comfort as I re am reminded that God knows everything. He knows me. He knows what is happening throughout the world, and he knows his creation. Omniscient means all-knowing, all-aware. And because God is omniscient, he knows my weaknesses, my strengths, my areas of need, my wants, my faith, including my struggles and questions. The entire chapter of Psalm 139 examines how much God knows all of us as individuals. However, even though he knows me as well as knowing humans and the depths of our intentions and actions, both good and bad, he still loves us and wants us to come to him through Christ Jesus. Proverbs 15.3 states, The eyes of the Lord are everywhere, keeping watch on the wicked and the good. Even when we might wonder if God sees the hateful or evil actions of others or ourselves, he sees it and he knows it. In 1 Kings 14.9, a message was given to King Jeroboam. You have done more evil than all who live before you. You have made for yourself other gods, idols made of metal. You have provoked me to anger and thrust me behind your back. God knows there is evil in this world. I often read about or hear people questioning God, his existence, or his love if he allows evil in the world. However, God gave us free will. We are able to choose our actions and intentions. We are able to choose to follow him or deny him. And because he gives us free will and freedom of choice, there are those who will practice evil, hatred, and corruption. Sometimes we want to demand that God not allow evil, but then we would be demanding that none of us have free will. A connection to this would be the First Amendment of the U.S. Constitution, in which we are given freedom of speech, religion, and other actions. This means those with whom we disagree are afforded the same protections as are we. So yes, God sees the evil in our world, and it grieves him as evil and sin are rejections of him and his grace. But it is allowed as he gave us as humans free will. When one may feel alone or isolated, it may be comforting to remember how much God knows and loves us. Jesus in Matthew 10, 29 to 31, tells us, Are not two sparrows sold for a penny? Yet not even one of them will fall to the ground apart from the will of your father. And even the very hairs of your head are all numbered. So don't be afraid. You are worth more than many sparrows. If we combine the previously covered attribute of omnipresence with omniscience, we can find comfort in the fact that God is present with us and knows us. I hope you, well, I hope all of us may find comfort in knowing that God is with us and knows us. We are never far from him or his love. Thanks again for spending some time.